My name is Nathan John Firestein. Stage name is NF, it's just my initials because my last name's so hard to say. Before NF grew up, became a rapper, got a record deal, and made a couple mil. Before NF captured the hearts of fans all over the world with the honesty in his lyrics and ability to express his emotions in a way that not many artists can. Before NF would have himself a number one song on Top 40 Radio with Let You Down and a number one album on Billboard 200 with Perception. Before he would get cosigns from Logic who took him on tour and even have a fan in Shawn Mendes. I think it'd be cool to get a selfie with uh, NF or Ariana. I don't have a selfie with either of them. Before he would maybe, possibly, but we can't confirm if he actually was dissed by Eminem. If I did that, I'd just be like everyone else in the effing industry, especially an effing recovery clone of me. Now say that last line slowly. An effing recovery clone? An effing? And before he would have more than 400k followers on Twitter, over 1.3 million followers on Instagram, and more than 3.6 million subscribers on YouTube at the time of this recording. NF has overcome a lot in his life to get to the point that he's at today, but even with all of his massive success, he remains an incredibly humble guy. And I'm rapping passionately, you're doing something. <laughs> And I like lean in and I'm like rapping and I like look at their mouth and they have no idea what they're saying. It's sad because I'm like, yeah, we about to have a moment. And then I look into their eyes and they're like, like, is that Spanish? Although NF probably wouldn't be able to tell even if the fans were speaking Spanish. I did not pay attention in school in like Spanish, so I don't even, I probably, I can't really say anything. I think it was like, hello, it's like bonjour or something. Not sure about that one, although I didn't do too well in my high school French classes either, so. It's because you're a dumbass. <laughs> even though this is before they were famous, like NF says on his song Real, he's not famous, he's just Nathan. I truly can't say NF, NF, and enough about this guy, NF, enough, you, you know what I'm saying. What's going on, good people in the comment section? I hope you're having one active a day. My name is Jeremy Hag, here for you on Before They Were Famous, and today we will be going through the life and career of NF prior to fame. If you're new here, I'm the LA host for this channel. If you know, then you know I gotta give a shout out to anybody who is currently watching while on their toilet, my toilet gang. Shout out to you guys. I've recently done updated versions on A Boogie and YG, so be sure to check those out after you finish watching this one and let us know who to cover next in the comments down below. But before we start, I have a trivia question for you. What is one of the biggest things that NF struggles with now that he's successful? We will answer that at the end of the video, but for now, let's get into the show. Nathan John Firestein was born in Gladwin, Michigan on March 30th, 1991. He grew up with two sisters and the three siblings were mostly raised by their father after their parents divorced. This was an escape from his mother's abusive new boyfriend. Nathan's mother was dealing with her own problems which included a dependence on prescription pills. She was so lost in her own world that she missed many key moments in Nathan's life like his school graduations and big events. And as you can imagine, seeing your parent go through that is probably extremely difficult and without knowing who to talk to, it can build up a weight on the shoulders of any child no matter how strong they are. Nathan used music as his therapy and wrote out all of his thoughts in the form of rhymes beginning at the age of 12. My whole life, like when I had a problem, I'm not like a come and talk to you about all my issues in my life, you know what I mean? God is just takes my problems in my life, puts it in my music, and that's what I do. Well, actually before he started rapping about his real life problems, NF was rapping about the problems of other rappers. When I first started rapping, I would rap about like things that I heard about. So I was like not from the streets at all, but I would like rap about what I heard other rappers rapping about. Hey, everybody who has ever rapped has at least one gun bar. It's okay. No shame. Yeah, that, I don't, I don't want to go into that too much, but that that's crazy. Nathan would spend hours in his parents' van and in his basement writing down his thoughts before he actually decided to record his vocals using a karaoke machine microphone. He'd record the vocals in one mic and record the instrumentals with another mic. Nathan's grandfather was a pastor, so he attended church growing up, but as he grew older, he began to question God and went on a journey of searching for what he actually believed in. So I went to my little, my little stage of like, I don't know if God's real, I'm gonna do whatever I want. Nathan attended Gladwin High School and around this time he found his faith. 
Christianity became a guiding force in his life that helped lead him on his path. As I got a little bit older and I got way more serious about my music and started, you know, paying to record and doing all this stuff. And I just developed such a passion for it. And I really feel like God kind of like reached out to me through my music and was like, look, I've like given you this. After working on mastering his craft for years, Nathan finally stepped onto a public stage to perform his work in the 2008 Fine Arts Festival rap competition. And the work paid off because he played second nationwide. The following year, he one-upped himself, taking home the first place prize in Michigan. And growing up, Eminem was a huge inspiration to NF, and it's crazy to look at how similar their stories are. Eminem's mother was heavily criticized throughout his music for using drugs and not being there for him. The two are both from Michigan and both had their big breaks competing in rap competitions. And of course, they're both white rappers, but I'm not gonna sit here and compare the two just because of that fact. In fact, I think the comparisons need to stop altogether because NF has carved his own lane within hip hop and it's clear that he's here to stay. So yeah, stop comparing them in interviews. But while his rap career was showing promise, his personal life was falling apart. His mother died of a prescription medication overdose, leaving Nathan to grieve and search for answers. It was during this time that he would pour his heart out into the music, writing songs like How Could You Leave Us that he would later release. Nathan decided to release some of his music using his real name, putting his debut 13 track album called Moments online in 2010. His early work showed a lot of promise and it was enough for a label named Exist Music to sign Nate a couple years later. He changed his stage name to NF and began to work on his label debut EP. But there were some label troubles and the EP never dropped. NF eventually left the label and continued to work on his music independently. But with no help from a label, he had to grind hard to make enough money for studio time. He worked as an electrician to pay the bills while driving around an old Volvo. That same car would constantly overheat, which meant that he couldn't drive it until after sunset. He half jokingly said, I wouldn't even feel right selling that car to somebody, they'd probably die. NF and producer Tommy Prophet had worked on one song together a few years back, but while NF was in Grand Rapids, Michigan, flying out for a show the next day, the two linked up again and worked on a song called Wake Up. That is the same song that would later impress a label head the most out of NF's entire catalog. NF continued to put out music and work on his writing, and eventually he landed a meeting with the head of Capital Christian Music Group named Brad O'Donnell. NF rapped live for him and showed off his passion, lyricism, and ability to portray his emotions through song. And even though the entire thing was a freestyle, he showed what he could do, and Brad offered him a deal. I literally write about my life all the time. I can tell when I'm writing a song and I'm feeling what I'm writing, or if I'm just writing a song to write a song. O'Donnell said, I couldn't believe his intensity. Some people just feel music. It literally comes out of every pore in their body. It's not an intellectual thing. It comes straight from the heart. And that's what I felt when I watched that video. NF signed to Capital CMG in 2014, becoming the first hip hop artist on the label. But just because he is signed to a Christian label does not make him a Christian rapper. And I think we also need to stop with that label and that narrative because NF has talked about it multiple times. He doesn't want to be labeled a Christian rapper. Finally, after the deal, he was able to buy himself a new car, in case you were wondering. NF released his self-titled EP in 2014, which hit number 15 on the US rap charts. The label believed in Wake Up so much that they put all of the marketing dollars towards pushing that song, and it worked out because the video on YouTube now has more than 22 million views. Every release afterwards continued to beat industry expectations and top his previous efforts. Eventually, his single Let You Down hit number one on the top 40 radio charts. He continued to record with Tommy in his basement though. Tommy produced most of NF's albums and the two have become an incredible duo. NF's albums Mansion and Therapy Session helped grow his fan base to massive numbers so that NF's 2017 album Perception would hit number one on the Billboard Hot 200 chart. Also, NF recently got married to the love of his life after three and a half years of dating, so congrats to them. But for real, I'm so happy for this man after everything he's been through to be living out his dream with his dream girl and inspiring kids out there with his words. It's incredible to watch. A weird struggle for me has always been trying to be um, having this idea of like wanting to be happy and wanting to have joy and have all these things. But I've always written music from such a personal place, an emotional place. So I think I've always kind of had this fear of like, oh, if I was, uh, you know, if I got better. How am I going to write from an emotional place? And I think I've just found out you can still become more of a healthy person, which I'm really trying to work on. Just because you're getting more healthy, I guess is what I'm saying. 
doesn't mean you, you still don't experience a lot of emotional things. Also, I literally just thought of this as I was making this video, but it's crazy for me to be doing this video for you guys because I remember once my brother texted me, uh, asking me who NF was, and like I had to look up his story on the Before They Were Famous video that Michael made, so it's crazy to have it come full circle and for me to be able to tell this story to some kid out there who's wondering who NF is and what his story is. So I hope I did you justice, whoever you are watching out there and I really appreciate you guys watching. I don't take any of this for granted and um, I'm just really grateful. And there you have the answer to the question from the beginning of the video. He struggles with wanting to be happy and grow while still making the same type of emotional music that his fans love. But NF, if you're watching this, just so you know, uh, your fans want you to be happy and continue to grow. And I don't speak for everyone, but I know I speak for the people who genuinely mess with you, uh, that they will still be there for you on your journey no matter what. But as for the rest of the story, well, you know it because this is before they were famous. We listen to you guys here also, so you gotta let us know who to call. You gotta let us know in the comments who to cover next, and uh, we will be sure to get those for you. Also, follow me on Instagram, you can let me know there. And if nobody has told you yet today, I love you. Dream good, live better, and I'll see you in the next video.